If you saw him attending Mass at St. Isidore's in Columbus, you probably wouldn't be able to guess his hobby, let alone his lifelong career. First international blind artist photographer. His is a journey spanning the entire world, beginning in Egypt, October 13th, 1976. At 16 years old, Nazi had dreams of becoming a pilot and a race car driver, but a physical attack from another student changed the course of his life forever. I lose uh, the vision, I lose uh, my hobby, normal hobby, I lose my dream. Everything changed in this time. When he went to England for eye surgery, a friend handed him a camera to use when his vision returned. However, sight would never return for Nazi. Yet, even without his sight, he decided to use the camera anyway. And his first subject was his own father. I try film after film, film after film. I use a lot of film until first picture come right 100%. From there, it was nearly a decade of practice and discipline training himself to see through the viewfinder with every other sense. They make it like a joke, like, you know, uh, it's fun, that's it. But they doesn't know in 100% I try to practice my sense for I see everything around me. You are, see me, nice suit, nice tie, nice shirt. But for me, I see you from inside. Feeling the sun to get the right lighting. Listening for breathing to get the right zoom. Eventually, his hobby turned into a career, taking him across the globe. Specializing in portraits, he also branched out into scenic shots and even more ambitious projects. He explains how he managed to end up riding his friend's bike, sight unseen. He tell me to how. I tell him, don't worry. I bought the silver timer and I go front the camera. They take the picture for myself. I make this in over 45 minutes. His work earned him international recognition, awards, and even teaching opportunities. The first step for his students, immersing them in his world with a blindfold. They start to walk around the place perfect, no accident. No missing, nothing wrong. After that, I teach them how to use the smelling, how to use the earring, how to use the heat. Nazi created this album, documenting his worldwide journey. He moved to Nebraska 25 years ago after his wife took a job in UNL. He's spending his time focusing on philanthropy work for the disabled in the Middle East, running his own nonprofit television network focusing on their needs. We help all kind of disabled. And we help be Christian and Muslim and doesn't matter for religion. We help the disabled, help going to everyone he needed. His latest chapter in a story that all began with a photo of his father. He feel it, it's something special for him. He tell me this is my, my gift from Jesus Christ. In Columbus, for News Channel Nebraska, this is Jeff Brooks reporting.